Welcome to Techie Bytes, where we teach you how to use Windows Office programs. Today we're doing a tutorial on the dAverage function. The dAverage function simply finds the average of all the values in the chosen field column that meet the criteria specified in the criteria table. To get started, we need a database table and a criteria table, which we've already made. Now, we need to write our function, and we can do this either by typing it in directly or by finding the function in the formula tab. And we'll show you both ways. To type in the function, we start, as with any other function, by typing in the equals operator. Then we type in the d average and open our parenthesis. The syntax for all database functions is database, comma, field, comma, criterion. So first we'll select the entire database and put in a comma. Now we need to choose a field column, and in this example we've chosen age. So click on the age column and put in a comma. Finally, we'll select our criterion table, which only has one criteria, that the height is greater than 8. Now we'll close our parentheses, and if we press enter, we get our answer as 13.75. So the average age of the people that have a height greater than 8 is 13.75. Now let's do the same thing with the dialog box. Start by clicking the formula tab and scroll down to the dAverage function. Now just select it and a dialog box will open. All you have to do is select the data as before for the database, the field, and the criteria. If you click OK, you get the same answer as before, 13.75. And that's how you use the dAverage database function useful if you have to find the average of a specific set of data in your database. Don't forget to subscribe to Techie Bytes.